It's cheap, it's cheap, it's cheap. For you, depending on how you like, how long you like your trigger to be from your shoulder. How like you, how long you like your trigger to be. <laughs> Holder, speed loaders. Holder. So as I said before, the M40 is a bolt action sniper rifle used by the United States Marine Corps. Marine Corps as well. We got this gun in the So we got this gun in the airsoft Fuck. So we got this gun in the airsoft Shit, I keep saying what I want to say airsoft GI. We got this gun in the modern airsoft, bro. Why can't I remember that? Okay. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, Trifaction? Welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the ASG McMillan M40A3 Sport Line. We got this gun in the Modern Airsoft Mystery Box that we did back in December. It's the one that Modern Airsoft does every December to help uh, feed homeless veterans in their area. If you haven't seen that video yet, check that out. We got a couple cool items in that. This video is brought to you by TrifectaAirsoft.com. Head on over there to see all the links for our socials. And also, if you want to support the channel, we have a Patreon link and a link for our merch store. We also have a couple other items on there, like patches, if you guys are interested in that. Um, every little thing helps us and uh, helps us keep making more videos. And we really appreciate all those that do help us. Before we talk about this uh, airsoft version of the rifle, I'm going to give you just a brief history on the real M40, because it's pretty cool. Uh, it's actually used by the Marines, and it's been used for a long time. So as I told you before, the M40 rifle is a bolt-action sniper rifle that was used by the United States Marine Corps. And over the years, it's had four variants. It had the original M40, the M40A1, uh, the M40A3, which is the one we're talking about, and the M40A5, which is the newest uh, and the one that's in use now. The original M40 was introduced in 1966. The changeover to the A1 was completed in the 1970s, and the A3 was in the 2000s, and finally the A5 was all the way back in 2009. So each M40 is built off of a Remington 700, the classic wood stock, bolt action rifle. So the Marine Corps took that, they realized out of Vietnam that they needed a designated sniper rifle. They were having issues with the original wood stocks with warping and things because of the conditions in Vietnam. And that's when they decided to start modifying them. And then that's when they got the stocks from Macmillan. And now the main difference between the A3 and the A5 is the barrel. Uh, it has a threaded barrel with the new A5. So you can do muzzle brakes and suppressors and things. And it also has an extra rail system toward the front. That way they can mount uh, AN PVS 22 night vision optics. So that was a brief history on the, uh, the actual M40 that's used by the US military. This is the black version. This is about 80 bucks. So it's actually super cheap. Uh, it's one of the cheapest snipers on the market. It comes in two pieces. So the, the, the packaging is pretty standard. Uh, it comes in a cutout foam, you know, standard, most, what most airsoft guns come in. And it comes in two pieces. The stock is separated from the receiver. And it has three uh, set screw points that you have to screw in. Uh, they are self-contained, so you don't have to lose the screws. They're self-contained inside the stock. And uh, in that box, you do get the tools to put it together. So you clamp both pieces together uh, just with your hands. And then you use the tools that it came with to screw it together. There's three screw points. So you get that. It also comes with a magazine. The magazine is 20 rounds. Uh, it says flush in the bottom of the stock. It's pretty standard for a sniper. It also comes with a small speed loader, one of the little 110 rounders. And it also comes with a small bag of .2s. That's like 100 BBs. You wouldn't really use .2s on the field, I don't think. Most people would with a sniper. Uh, I definitely wouldn't. But it's good if you don't, you just bought the rifle and you want to take it out in the backyard or whatever and just see how it works. And it also comes with extra stock pieces uh, for the rear on your stock here. So let's talk about the construction of the rifle real quick. Uh, the stock is like an ABS slash polymer type plastic. And then the barrel and the receiver is metal. And it does not come with the scope. This is something I just put on here. So be aware of that. You're not going to get a scope with it unless you uh, buy the package. Certain websites do have packages that you can buy that will come with a scope. But if you're just buying the standard version for 80 bucks, it will not come with a scope, just the rifle itself. So the stock does have two sling points on it. They are on the right side of the rifle, and you cannot switch them. There are not uh, holes on the left side to be able to switch them around. So you are stuck with two sling points on the right side. But on the rear of the stock here, you do have an adjustable cheek riser. You undo these knobs. They're on both sides. And then you can adjust the position up and then back down. There's like, I think, four or five positions that it locks into. 
and also on the rear as i said the, it comes with two extra pieces for the stock you can actually uh, take the butt plate off and you can add or remove stock sections on the top of the rifle you have a 20 millimeter rail for mounting scopes or other optics depending on what you want on the bottom of the stock in the front you also have a 20 millimeter picatinny rail it's a shorter section and it's for mounting bipods or whatever else you want to mount under there it does have an adjustable hop up it's on the left side over here it's a slide type adjustment like most sniper rifles are and finally you have your safety which is on the right side here you push it up for fire pull it back for safe the rifle is spring powered bolt action uh, be aware on, on a website like EVIC, they uh, have it listed as adjustable trigger pull and adjustable bolt pull. Uh, however, in the manual, it doesn't say anything about that. And we were looking at the receiver. We couldn't find any adjustment points. So I do believe that's a typo. So just be aware of that. The whole rifle put together is 7.5 pounds with an overall length of 44 inches. And the inner barrel is 475 millimeters long. But the FPS range is supposed to be between 410 and 420 FPS with point twos. Go ahead and take this thing outside and shoot it and see what the FPS really is. And we're going to do a range test uh, accuracy with a couple different BB weights and see how this thing really shoots. straight to the left a little bit. Good. Mm -hmm. Hold it. All right. That's how long I want to do it after. All right, so this thing is shooting pretty good. Uh, I was actually surprised on how good it was shooting, especially with those three sixes. It was reaching pretty far, and uh, it was pretty accurate too. It wasn't bad. And the FPS, even with the point twos, was very consistent, and it was right in the target where it was said it was going to be. So overall, I'm impressed with the rifle. I mean, for only being 80 bucks, I think it shoots really well. Me personally, the ergonomics were a little bit uncomfortable when I was holding it. I do feel that the stock is a little bit too big on the front and squared off and then the angle for the grip has kind of like a 90 degree angle. I'm not really a fan of that, um, but it, it wasn't too bad of an issue. I think when you're on the field playing and you have like gloves on or whatever, it's fun, it'll be fine. Uh, that was just me personally. But uh, other than that, I do really like this thing. Uh, it's definitely a good starter. Like if you haven't ever used a sniper on, on a, an airsoft game and you want to, and you want to get into it and try it out, this would probably be your best route just because of the price. Other than that, guys, we really appreciate you watching. Thank you to all our patrons. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go out and get them.